knockout coverage and unlimited data. Top of 25, Jorge De Castro, 32. Right, both fighters six feet even. Both right on the nose, 265 pounds and a 74-inch reach advantage on both sides. All right, now for his moment, here's Bruce Buffer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the land down under in Marvel Stadium in Melbourne, Australia! For UFC 243, Whitaker versus Adesanya, presented by Tab. Who are you backing? And now, despite his three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. An undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Five wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Fall River, Massachusetts, USA, Jorgen, the Mad Titan, the Castro. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Three wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, Justin Van Man And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jim Perdios. Jim Perdios, our referee, the beautiful Red De La Cruz, getting us started here. Round one of a possible three. Most don't expect the scorecards to be <laughs> needed for this one, but as they say, that's why you play the games. Body ready. Body ready. Round one. Justin Taffa and Jorgen DeCastro. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile's knockout coverage and unlimited data. The South Pass in black to Castro in red. I mean, these big boys let it fly. Nice kick to the body by De Castro. Fighting runs through generations of Tafa's family. His grandfather was a national light heavyweight boxing champion. And actually, one of his uncles fought Mark Cotton K1 back in the day. The Castro's really trying to keep him close, pulling him in tight. He got hit with a big right hand to start the fight. Didn't like it. Wants to try to wear on Tafa a little bit before he allows him to get back to space. De Castro maintaining that overhook. Tafa continues to work the body here. And the Castro holding an overtie like that is just to keep him tight. If he was trying to escape, he would be trying to dig under him to get away from the side of the octagon. He's content here. He doesn't want to be at space yet. It became hard for DeCastro to fight fine fights regionally. Ultimately, that contender series allowed him to get to this proven ground tonight against Taffa. Odds courtesy of Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Taffa minus 135. Jorgen DeCastro, the slight dog, at plus 105. Oh, nice uppercut there by Taffa. Big deep breath from DeCastro. smokes he put him to sleep the celebration is on in fall river massachusetts and beyond in cape verde a stunner here to begin the main card in melbourne and justin top is still down that was a massive massive right hand by de castro put him out you saw top try to square up to enter 
and caught that big right hand on the way in. And how respectful are these fans, by the way, acknowledging the Cape Verdean Jorgen de Castro. Let's get you the fight replay brought to you by Namorop, old character since 1872. Look at Toffa. He tried to square up right there, switches his stance to try to land a big shot and walk right into that overhand right. Big walk-off knockout by De Castro. Boom, right on the chin. And you cannot take a strike like that from a guy that is that big. He, they both threw. De Castro was just a little bit straighter with his strike and put Toffa out. I mean, toes curled, arms straight. He's sleeping. Well, you know, Mark Hunt's the king of the walk-off KO, and certainly hard for him to see his guy go down like that, but pretty good place for Jorgen De Castro to get a walk-off knockout of his own tonight as he stuns Justin Taffa with an early knockout. Wow. That's two times in a row that De Castro's come in as a dog and put on phenomenal performances, finished the fight on the contender series with leg kicks, and then has this walk-off knockout at UFC 243. Well, not going to be hard for him to get fights anymore. What a moment for Jorgen De Castro tonight. The official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile's knockout coverage and unlimited data. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jim Perdios has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, ten seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorgen the Man. Take it all in is right, Jorgen De Castro, with the biggest win of his mixed martial arts career. You have effectively changed your life forever, I think, with this result here tonight. Congratulations, man. What's going through your head right now? I mean, thank you, guys. Thank you, Australia. Beautiful place. Thank you. Uh, I wish a quick recovery for my opponent. And, and this is my time, and I, I'm born for this. I want to thank Dana White and UFC for giving me the chance to show my skill at, at a at the top of the top of MMA. Thank you. Now I want my bonus and I want to fight in, in December again because I want to change my family life, so I need to fight. Well, before we look too far ahead, I want to look back at the knockout. If you would talk us through it a little bit, obviously it was a huge shot that landed and that closed the show. Yes. I mean, I know I have power, you know. I may don't look like I'm a little chubby, but I got power in my legs, I got power in my hand, and it was all about timing. I know he'll come hard. I know he's 3-0 and all, and all the emotion. I mean, this is a huge crowd, so uh, we are counting on this. And I know he had the crowd behind him tonight, but what a nice show of support by the Melburnians here tonight after you knocked him out. Melbourne is awesome. I love you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Congratulations. Enjoy it with your team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mad Titan, Jorgen De Castro. His name is the Mad Titan, but trust me, this man is only mad when he's in the octagon.